What is happening guys? It is Danilad 1989. This is episode 11 of the Hereford United career. Now if you guys remember in the last episode, history tried to repeat itself and it failed. <laughs> if we're honest, we got absolutely battered by Newcastle United. So the first game we actually got a win against Bradford City 1-0. We got absolutely battered by uh, Newcastle United. And then obviously we simulated the Colchester game, which we lost 3-1. And then we got a draw to Bristol Rovers. So, you know, it wasn't the greatest episode for excitement. So, today we're going to turn that round. We're going to slam some in the back of the net. And we are going to give you guys some excitement. So, Mansfield at home. We have got our rivals, Newport, away. And obviously Newport, we got one of our biggest wins against Newport. And then we've got Tranmere Rovers at home. So I'm not going to waste any time, guys. We're going to go straight into the game against Mansfield and hopefully win 5-0. <laughs> Let's go and find out, eh? Edgar Street ground, guys. We are at home and it's raining. It is a dull, wet day, so I am hoping to bring some sort of excitement to you guys and have an interesting game. I think the last time we played Mansfield, it was a 2-2 draw, if I remember rightly. I'm trying to think back. I think it was a 2-2 draw. Anyway... That's not going to change this result. Even in the rain, soggy, wet, horrible day, we are going to absolutely go gung-ho because we need we need a big win, I think. We need three or four or five goals. We need to absolutely destroy somebody and who better than just to destroy Mansfield? I don't know why, but oh well. So I've had to make some serious changes, guys, just due to tired legs. So this is our lineup for this game. So Wilson in goal. Uh, Savage and French at left back and right back as we know they've been for the start of the season uh, Watson and Dyson at two centre backs because the other two are just absolutely knackered out Jeffrey and Kavanagh in the defensive mid positions Molly through the middle, Nolan on the left uh, Watkins on the right and Wilson up top because everybody is just absolutely tired out from previous games so I'm hoping even with a changed squad we should get a good a good victory here, so let's push and see what we can do. Eh? It's a nice pass out wide to French. Yeah, have an early chance here, guys. If I can come inside, to, um, I think it's gone to Marley. There's Jeffrey there. Oh, just trying to hold play up because I couldn't get around the corner, but French has got the cross in anyway. Nolan goes up. It's dropped to Wilson, dropped to Nolan. Keeper makes a good save. Mansfield have won themselves a corner here. Let's try and get up with Marley and get rid of that. Do get rid of it. it may still be alive. And we've got it at the edge of the box. He puts the ball in. French should deal with that. And French does deal with that. Let's see if we can burst away here with Watkins. I can see Wilson giving me that run. That is a fantastic ball by Watkins. So I'm just going to drop it back in for him. Here is Watkins. Can he redeem himself? He's put it over the bar. Making a run down the far side. It's a nice pass. Got a few options here. The... Uh, the striker and goes inside to midfield long ranger and what a hit that is he didn't have many options really the only option that he did have was to shoot and Jesus did he catch that just puts it into midfield passes it into him he hasn't got many options so he just hits it Wilson tries to get a glove on it that is a really good hit and he's put Mansfield 1-0 in front Their goalkeeper lost the ball forward. It's bounced out to Savage. Shall just go to Nolan. Nolan's done well to turn his man there. If he can get a pass through, he can. There's Kavanagh. Wilson onto Morley. Morley's made a good run. And Morley has equalised. Really good passage of play there. Found the players. And Morley makes no mistake on putting us level. It's a nice pass down the line. Mansfield may have a chance here. Good save by Wilson again. We get the goal. They start pushing straight back at us. They've got a corner here. Can they do something here? Kavanagh gets up really well with the header. Can we get on the break? Here's French. We've got a few players forward. I can see Savage on this far side with plenty of room to run into. We have Morley and Wilson in the box. Here comes Watkins as well. We need a good cross here. It's blocked out and out for a corner ourselves from one end to the other. Mr. French get on this. Mr. French does get under it. It's out for a goal kick. Just before half time here, guys. Two minutes added on. We're trying to keep the pressure. 
going if we can and that's a terrible ball around the corner and it's probably going to be half time unless Molly can try and win that can't there is half time here we go in the second half guys really entertaining first half back and forward back and forward I want to get a second and get in front Mansfield corner here guys getting later in the second half and we just haven't pushed for a second just yet and they hit it wildly over the bar. Wilson lofting that forward from the goal kick. Try and get ahead on this if we can with Wilson. Doesn't. Comes straight back at us. See if we can win the tackle here and try and get on the front foot. As Cork tried to substitute French off, guys, because he was just absolutely tired out and hit the post. They should be in front. Here is Koch down the line to... Jackson who have just subbed on but inside Jeffrey had made me a forward run but it wasn't the run that we needed um, may have been caught out of position just here let's try and watch these positions because to be honest Mansfield should be in front that's a decent interception Wilson's made me a run I'll try and feed him in here I can see a few players coming in I just need to drop it to somebody but Wilson carries on going if I can drop it to Jeffrey if he can hit it ricochet back Nolan and Nolan has got it in from the tightest angle what a finish the most unlikeliest person I would have said has scored I think that's his first goal for us it, like in the whole series I don't think Nolan has scored and wow getting it in from an angle like that that is a tremendous hit Nolan fires us 2-1 in front that is a great finish almost the end of the game here guys we may be able to have one more chance here with Savage ball across if I can whip it towards the back stick Nolan up again here's Jeffrey bringing that down to Nolan and try and feed the ball around the other side there's three minutes added on here we need to be careful now that we do not concede we've got in front there's still time here for Mansfield to come forward to be honest they've hit the post and they should have been in front not us that's a great tackle really good tackle and that is the end of the game here we are then guys back at the menu and what a cracking finish to the end of that game I didn't think anything was going to come of it and then Nolan pops up and scores the most unlikeliest winner that we've seen on this series so far so we get the three points and we push further ahead thanks to Nolan so, in our second game of the episode, we have uh, Newport Kempty away, which is our rivals. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the next game. Right then, guys. Newport Kempty away, our rivals for, obviously, League 2, because you can choose a rival in each league. But Newport are probably the closest to Hereford. And last time we played Newport, I think we beat them 3-0 if I remember rightly, or 3-1 was it? And it, I know it was a, a victory either way, so I am hoping for the same again here, another win and get us on two on the bounce. But that last game, poof, that was back and forward. So I'm hoping this game is going to be a bit smoother and we're just going to get a nice easy victory and a clean sheet. But you never know, so let's have a look at how Newport are going to line up. And then we'll have a look at how we are going to line up. So this is how Newport line up. Let's have a see what formation they are playing. Are they going to be playing five at the back again? That's the thing. Seems to be a frequent thing, five at the back. They are five, two, three. So again, that five formation, we know that we just have to be careful about how deep they sit to break them down. So as you can see here on the screen, Kennedy has got the start over Wilson. So... Only, only change in the lineup uh, today you'll see so Wilson in goal as always Savage and Thomas left back and right back French back in the centre back position with Koch uh, Thomas uh, sorry not Thomas Wall and Jeffrey in the centre defensive mid positions Morley through the middle Wilson on the left Jackson on the right and Kennedy in the strike position today so I'm hoping with a slight change and fresher legs we should get a nice easy win and a free kick early here guys for an offside against Newport let's see where 
This takes us. Savage is going to make me that run. I can see him ping him over the top. Here is Savage. Just going to cut inside with him. Plenty of time, plenty of space. Wilson is there. Can he hit this Wilson? He can. And it's over the bar. It's a nice pass out wide. And out for a throw in here. I thought he'd control it better than that though, the Newport man. But didn't control it well at all. Fire this into midfield. Here's Morley. Jackson, plenty of time. We know Jackson's got quick feet. And nice pass around the corner to Savage. Can he get a decent ball in here, Savage? I'm just going to try and go back to Jackson. Ball comes in. Can Wilson get up? He can't get up. Defender clears. Still alive. Here's Wall. Wall with a nice turn. Have a go here with Wall. And straight into the keeper's gloves. Marley to Jackson. I was going to go over to Savage then because he's made me his forward run. But I'll drop it to Wall. Going into midfield here. Kennedy, Kennedy try and make me a run. Kennedy's got it. If he can turn his man. Hit this Kennedy. And Kennedy has his first goal for us in Hurryford United colours. Swapped him out today for Wilson. And he says, I'm Kennedy. Gets his first goal for us. And to be honest, that was a really good hit. Rode the challenge. Used his strength. Got round and really good hit to be fair. <clears throat> the keeper should have done a lot better in that situation. But he did get some power on it. Goalkeeper should have done better. But there's the opener. It's a nice pass out wide. Newport pushing after conceding the first goal. He's got an option to go back here. He does. He's trying to call for Koch for a bit of support help. It's a nice pass around the corner. He's created the space here. Chasing him with Savage. He's got around the corner. Wilson with the save. Just before half time, they have a corner here. Newport. Can they try and get back into it? And Kennedy up with the header semi clear, not quite clear and really speculative chance there with like a, a half volley sideways and they've got another corner creeping up to half time, Jackson, oh sorry Wilson get the tackle in here some sort of a tackle but the chance is still alive, here's French and two minutes added on pressure still going we'll see this out until half time guys passing it around now Need to win this tackle, and we do with Savage, and then we'll clear that, and it should be half time. It is half time. Here we are in the second half, guys, and I think a 1 0's fur so far. Let's see what the second half will bring. Newport trying to build something down the far side. Not been a great second half so far, nothing concrete. Great tackle by Savage. Try and get this forward now, see if I can create something. Wilson is out wide. Here is Wilson just on the turn. It's created a bit of a gap here in midfield. Running into the space, blocked and out for a corner. That's probably been the best chance of the half so far. Nothing really has happened here in the second half. Can we try and get something from here? French goes up, dropped to the edge of the box. Back in play, Wall hits it. I think it hit a Newport County man. Is it? No, it's a goal kick. Oh, that's a nice pass. Savage has been caught out of position there. Newport may be able to get something here. And Thomas does really well to turn. And it's a penalty. I thought Thomas did really well to turn out of the uh, situation there. But let's have a look. It must have been his hand. It did. It bounced up and hit his arm. They have got a penalty to get level in the 84th minute. Disaster. I'm going to go left this time. And he doesn't. He goes straight down the middle. And they are equal. It's 1 1. Two minutes added on, guys. I am trying to get forward and trying to get back in front. That's a nice pass around the side to Jackson. I'm going to try and drop it to the edge of the box here. If I can find someone, I can find Wilson. It's blocked off. And that is probably going to be the end of the game. It is. They get back in it with a penalty. And Newport get themselves a draw. Back at the menu then, guys. And that one stings a little bit. They get a penalty late on. They score the penalty and they get themselves a draw. Never mind. 
Moving on, guys. We are at transfer deadline day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through transfer deadline day. And then, obviously, I will show you on the last bit of transfer deadline day the biggest signings of you know, the transfer, just in case you're interested. And then we'll skip forward to the Tramme Rovers game. There we go then guys, transfer deadline day is done and I will show you the biggest transfers of the window. There has been some huge ones, Moreno to Liverpool for 91 million, uh, Immobile to City for 91 million, uh, Tyranny to uh, Real Madrid for 49 million, Harvey Barnes to Arsenal for 48 and a half million, a um, couple of other ones here. Jorginho going to um, Borussia Dortmund. Harry Maguire going to Bayern Munich. Um, Gundogan going to PSG. Aubameyang going to Bayern Munich. Good few there to um, Bayern Munich. Marco Royce going to Manchester United. Um, Raul Jimenez going to, uh, I think that's the unlicensed Atalanta if I remember rightly. Um, Ricardo Pereiro going to City. Um, Sa going abroad um, Yanazai going to Barcelona that's a surprise one and that looks like Lucas Moura going to Bayer Leverkusen that looks like the biggest ones to me that's about it guys nobody else really sticks out Gareth Bale going to Manchester United there's a shock one can't see any more that would get your interest there we go then guys, those have been the biggest transfers of the window, so what we will do is we will simulate forward now to the Tranmere Rovers game and we'll get straight in it for the last game of the episode. Edgar Street ground guys, we are at home, we have Tranmere Rovers and this is a big game. This is first versus second, I just checked at the, uh, at the menu before we started, they are chasing us and I think they were, they were within five points. Just trying to track my memory back there to checking it at the uh, the menu, but I know they are chasing us, so we need a result here. If we if we lose this game, it's very possible that Tramia Rovers could catch us either in this episode or the next episode. So we've got to get a result here and prove that we are title winning. Well, we're a title winning team anyway Wilson in goal Savage and Thomas left back and right back Koch and French in the middle together Wall and Jeffrey in the centre defensive mid positions Molly through the middle Wilson out wide Jackson out wide and Wilson back up top instead of Kennedy so our usual lineup how you would expect us our strongest 11 and let's get straight into it just after the 10 minute mark guys, Tramia Rovers have themselves a corner here, headed away by Jackson I think it was, Wilson trying to win the ball, Tramia Rovers come away with it though, still have a chance to make their first proper attempt at goal, it's nicely brought back, looking for a man inside the box, couple of step overs, gets his shot away well over the bar, Tramia Rovers trying to push forward again, They've had the early chance in this one and they've looked the more likely to get the opener. French gets the tackle in there and gets the tackle in again. Ball still not cleared 100%. Koch deals with it. Jackson down the line. Here's Savage. Nice turn by Savage. Here's Wall. And I'm just going to drop that to Jackson. Open up the space for Jackson. Jackson, was he brought down? Referee says no. I thought that was a foul, but never mind. Here's Wilson on the inside and a good save from the goalkeeper out for a corner. I thought Jackson was brought down in the box there but Wilson continued on play, created as a chance, good stop by the goalkeeper. Ball comes in, Koch goes up for the header, bounces back to French and French has hit the bottom corner. We're always deadly from them set pieces and it's usually Mr French who is on the end of them. He is again this time. Maybe should have had a penalty a few moments before, but never mind. We have got ourselves in front, and it's the captain. Ball flew over. Koch win the header. Good save by the keeper, and then French is there to volley home. Wall. And to Jeffrey. Here's Morley. 
Plenty of time for Morley here, just drop that to Wall again, wait for Savage to come back on side as he is back on side now. And drop this to Jackson, Jackson provide me a decent cross, Jeffrey goes up, nothing comes of it just yet, keep the chance alive with Morley. And Morley hits that straight into the keeper's gloves just before half time here guys. Wilson darting down that side, two minutes added on, can we get... One more chance before half time. Try and play that in towards Wilson. Wilson's turn well. His ankles were clipped, but no foul, says the ref. And there is half time. Second half, then, guys. And it's not been the greatest first half. We've got in front. There's been a couple of half chances, but a little bit on the boring side. So hopefully the second uh, half can be a bit more exciting. Uh, Tramir Rovers have themselves a corner here. Going to play this in just wide of the target. He got up for the header really well though. Couldn't get it on target. There's Jackson. Drop that to Jeffrey. Got over to Thomas. See Molly making with a run. Try and ping that one over the top. Wilson might be in here if he can hit that. Wilson is in. And it's probably going to go into the keeper's arms. It doesn't. It falls in the back of the net from Jackson. I did not think Jackson would win that. I thought the goalkeeper would obviously just jump up and catch it, but he didn't. Jackson headers it in for 2 0. It was a great initial setup for the goal, and Wilson hits that really well. Obviously, two good gloves to it. As it comes down, I'm thinking, oh, goalkeeper will catch that. Nope. Jackson heads it, takes off the post, and goes in. Tramier Rovers busting forward, good ball around the corner, he flips one into the middle, volley, and again it's wide of the target, that's probably their best chance of the game, wide of the target. 70 minutes gone here guys, I'm just making two changes, bringing Nolan on for Jackson, and the other change was Kavanagh for uh, Jeffrey. His French, drop that to Wall, going to Nolan round the corner. Nolan can pinch that into Morley. He can. Morley going to hit that off the crossbar. So close to a third. May still be alive here with Kavanagh. And I think that ricocheted off and he's out. Free kick for offside here, guys. Four minutes added on. It's going to look like we've got Tramia Rovers beaten 2 0. And we've had a much better performance in this game, especially attacking going forward. Just seeing these last two minutes out, Tramier Rovers pushing down this side though. They've not been very clinical at all, Tramier Rovers, in this game. We've had a few half chances, but nothing brilliant. And that should be, and is, the end of the game. 2-0 to Hurryford. We push further up the table for the title. Right then guys, as you can see right here, Tramia Rovers beaten, we have an 8 point lead. Really happy with that result, especially obviously the 3 games that we've had today, that was probably the better one of them. Obviously 2-0 against Tramia, um, the draw against Newport and the 2-1 win against Mansfield, but that 3 points against Tramia just pushes us up further in the table. And we are looking set to go on and win League 2 and take the title into next season. So thank you very much for watching as always guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on any more of this content. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Danilaz1989. Love you, bye.